Hi guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about the energies and to just send you guys some good energies. Happy Imbolc. Imbolc is the first and second, and this is a major gateway day. We cycle through the wheel of the year. We talked about yesterday about how a lot of our current calendar and holidays cycle around this same wheel as well. There are eight major solar events that happen along this wheel, four lunar events and four solar events. So we kind of have it divided. This, any of these events that happen are meant to bring a balance between the solar lunar energies and the masculine and the feminine. And these are very powerful days. So the solstices and the equinoxes are solar events as well. And then uh, tomorrow is a midpoint day. <laughs> That's an important day too. Sometimes the midpoint day was start new, um, shift us into a new season. So they kind of move us along or begin a new season. And tomorrow's event is just the first of three spring events. So we're celebrating us tapping into the first light of spring or that spark of springtime that's coming within these energies. The energies, the ascension energies are getting so high right now too. And we're seeing that as we're moving through some of these solar events that they're amping up. In fact, the sun has been so active in the past week, kicking off solar flares, and we can expect those solar flares to continue through this week as well. So we're seeing a lot of ascension energies coming in too. In fact, a CME kicked off last night, and we're probably going to see a big space storm tomorrow and kind of through the 2-2 porthole as well. So we do have that gateway kind of going on too. And then we see Imbolc also lies on that new moon, that Aquarius new moon that's going to kick off on the first. This is a rare dark moon too, so it's extra powerful, bringing a lot of lunar energies into the mix too. And then of course we have the 2-2 gateway, which is a huge ascension porthole and, you know, the peak of the stretch of the past few days of galactic energies that we've been in. So we're going to see such an increase in these energies. This is a time for healing, tapping into the energies, and working your magic. It's a really good time to be doing some type of healing work, ritual work, or even kind of working with candles right now. So a powerful time. The veil is really thin right now, too. There's a lot of messages coming back and forth. Pay attention if you're having spirit messages come through. This could be dreams, guidance that you're getting, feeling the connection. I've been very much connecting with the other realm, too, so I can kind of tell you that it's wide open right now, and there's a lot of we'll say portholes kind of open and we're able to connect on deeper levels. So some of you may be having, we'll say some type of contact with the other side. It's an amazing time to connect with any of your loved ones that may be in the other realm, but some of you guys are just kind of sensing and feeling the energies more as they're bringing a lot of upgrades too. And this is a time of rebirth, rebirth into our higher selves too, working on becoming the highest version of ourselves too. And we're kind of going to experience that rebirth on a collective level as we're moving towards spring. This is literally the mark of halfway between the winter and the spring, literally to halfway mark. And so that's why it's kind of one of those point days too. So we're literally approaching spring and we can expect that, you know, the energies are going to continue to intensify as we're getting closer to the spring equinox too. That's because the sun becomes really active right now. It really turns up its power as it's preparing for springtime too. So we're in such a heightened space energetically with the solar energies, which we're receiving a lot of them too. Powerful energies coming at us. We're going to see such a powerful week energetically. Make sure you guys are tapping into these energies. It's also a great time to be decluttering, spring cleaning, thinking about your year ahead, where you want it to take you, starting new projects. Um, and um, that's about it, really. So I did put up, we have some events going on too. I posted those. A lot of people are messaging me and saying they can't find the links to some of the things we have going on. We're doing Pyramids of Isis Reiki class today. We're doing meditation tomorrow. And then on the 15th, I have Reiki too. And I have a May and July Shasta retreat up right now too. So I did kind of link those on my healing page and on my website this morning so that you guys can find those links if you're trying to sign up for some of our events. Make sure that you are too. So I've posted that this morning. I did post an energy report. I am around if you guys need healing sessions this week and it's a really powerful time to be working with the energies and to do healing too. It's a great time for doing initiation work too. And I'm just sending you guys so much love and good vibrations. Have a beautiful day. Time to celebrate.